What's up super fans? It is FitNerd from Superheroes Ultimate and today we just got the Mezco Wolverine figurine that was up for pre-order at New York Comic Con is finally arrived. Let's unbox it. Also, we are continuing the giveaway for the Captain America 1 to 1 shield replica. Simply give us a like, hit the notifications bell and subscribe to our channel so we can continue pumping out superhero content. All right, let's open this puppy up. <laughs> Boys. Put the logo right on there. Ooh, got some little bonus stuff here. Not sure what these are. Gonna have to open these suckers up. Hmm, might be the additional pieces for this. From Mesco. Oh, awesome. Thank you for being a Mesco Toys customer. Our products are made with collectors for collectors. We hope you enjoy this item as much as we do. Yep, I definitely will. Now, as many of you know, I am a huge Logan fan. So. Digging into this puppy right here is something that I cosplay quite a bit. So if you turn the box around, you'll notice that this is the figurine. This is how it looks. Um, I believe this is like some kind of some kind of real leather, the tailored jacket. You can actually take it, put it on, take it off. It's like a real fabric. I don't think it's real leather. But nonetheless, it's pretty cool. The hat, um, interchangeable heads. We got patches. We got the old school Logan right there. And the interchangeable hands are pretty cool because you could put them in the open palm, kind of a semi open hand here, uh, straight up knuckles, and then the claws, which obviously has to have the claws. And he has the dog tag. Um, yep, and it has the display base and adjustable posing post which is pretty cool and you can see here the different images of a couple of examples of how you can pose our Logan action figure 112 Logan action figure All right so this is the box itself those are the interchangeable hands interchangeable head and the figure itself and then that in the back is the base so let's open it up And here we have some, I believe, instructions or guidelines. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the product care guidelines. Um, these are not toys and not meant for children. They're designed for adult collectors, moi, like me, um, in mind. One, all 112 collective products are intended for ages 18 and up. So sorry, boys and girls, if you're under 18, you ain't getting one of these. Check this out. Okay, so all the accessories are right here in the back. Let's carefully, I believe it's taped somewhere. Nope, not taped. It is really, really snug, really compact. Nice. So let's get this out first with the. I mean, this is insane. So many accessories on this. Awesome. Okay, so this is the Ziploc bag where we could put all the interchangeable hand and head afterwards. You can just keep them in this tiny Ziploc bag and you could even label it right here. This is the jacket. Look at this thing. Holy cow. You're kidding me. Even has a functional little zipper. Check that out. Even has a tiny ass zipper. Let's see. Test it out. 
Yep. It's a functional little freaking zip. I mean, this is literally a tiny ass jacket. Oh, this is awesome. Boom, look at that. Real fabric. Um, not real leather, by the way, but it is a fabric. Wow, this is cool as hell. All right, so let's put this right here. Next to these uh, kind of mezco wine bags. I have no idea what the hell is in here, actually, but we will see what's in here. And here is the poser. So you can actually pose them in different ways on the stand. This is nice. This is like really nice quality too. Really, really like it. Good quality. This is side. All right, nothing else in the back. So that's the stuff that was right here. And then let's get the figure out. The figure itself is really well protected. Like it's insane. It's so many layers just to get to the figure itself. Whoa. Look at this! Just... Dun, 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 dun. Boom! Logan with the blue eyes and his hairy ass chest. Yep, that is Logan. The tank top feels awesome. Like this is this is real. Damn, but that is tight as hell. How the hell did they get that to actually look like? on his muscles like it actually shows it I mean this is a piece of cloth but it's so tight that you can actually see his abs on the tank top look at that that is sick that is freaking sick look at that articulation is like awesome it's so smooth to move him around joint here I believe he has a mid joint yep the thigh joint right there That is dope. Look at that. Got his classic pissed off. Kind of looks like Clint Eastwood a little bit. I'm, I'm getting a. Oh, damn. He's got a hairy ass back, too. You can see all of his dieselness, even through his fur. The fabric on the clothing is freaking phenomenal. Like, look at the stitching on those pants. All the way down to the detail on the belt. Check out the belt buckle. Dope. All right, so let's put Wolvie here to the side. Let's check out his accessories. So these are the interchangeable hands. Very, very detailed. Got down to the detail on the veins on the hands. That is no joke there. Check that out. Look at that. You can see the veins on his hands. Let's check out the claws. Okay, so as you guys some of you may know the claws on the Marvel Legends figures, they can come out, they can be pulled out, but these are way, I guess you could say sharper. <laughs> Not that they're actually gonna do any harm to you, but just the detail in them, the freaking claws look amazing. Check that out. Way more quality than the Marvel Legends. And don't get me wrong, I love my Marvel Legends, but these claws are way, way, way more sturdier. They don't pop out, they don't feel loose. Like, check that out. If you were to do that to the Marvel Legends ones, they do move around. These do not. Check that out. Check out his hairdo. I am out, this is an outstanding freaking figure. By the way, this was a huge um, surprise and gift from High Rock 809 Jose. You are the freaking man. I was super surprised when I got this in the mail. I know you told me a message that, hey, you just sent me a picture, by the way. You randomly sent me a picture um, through text message of this figurine. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, that looks dope. That's amazing. And then he's like, all right, did you get it yet? I'm like, what? <laughs> so, Jose, thank you from the bottom of my freaking Wolverine fa fanatic heart for this figure because this figure is flipping amazing dude I mean look at that look at the freaking detail I can't get over how detailed this figure is it's the stand with the claws on it of course that's kind of the MO it's a nice stand so this is where this will go alright so let's keep going and unboxing this 
And this is the dog tags. This is the famous Wolverine dog tag. No way, it's actually scribed on the back. Really, really tiny. So you can get the close up right there. It says James Howlett. So it's his actual name with his number. He's type A. It doesn't say Wolverine. It doesn't say Logan. It says James Howlett. So this is like the legitimate Wolverine name. Check that out. Take a look at the, these hand mold, this mold right here. Of a good old patches. Seriously, he's got like a Clint Eastwood look to him. But it works. If the, if the, it definitely works. Check that out. If you actually pay attention to the animated series in the X-Men, his eyes are blue. This figurine is amazing. Amazing! I am totally geeking out right now. So I changed up the head. As you can see, I got him in his old school look. Very Hugh Jackman looking. And I figured instead of opening this up right here, what I do recommend or is actually when you change the head up or if you're not going to change it, just keep it, to put on the chain instead of opening it over and over again, it'll loosen it up. So don't loosen it up. All you have to do is just go here, put on the new head, and voila. This dog tag is on. You didn't have to unlink it here, even though you can, just like a regular, you know, full adult. Um, chain it is a legitimate chain it is a legitimate dog tag check that out Let's get a close-up of that dope let's change up the claws very very easy to change up the hands and he does have a lot of mobility right here check it out he can actually fold it in right at the wrist look at that Rotate it. Check that out. You can even see the freaking bicep vein in there. Sweet! Again, I can't stop thanking you, Jose. This was an extraordinary... Look at that. He can almost do a freaking... Can he do a full split? Jeez. He can... He's wearing those freaking stretchy jeans, isn't he? Of course, he can do his martial arts kick in his jeans. Look at that. He can actually do one of his martial arts kick. I mean, these figures are known to have amazing articulation. Check that out. I'm blown away. I'm, I'm truly, truly blown away by the amount of detail, um, the fabric on here, because we have the classic Wolverine look. We have the cowboy Wolverine look, and we even have patches right here. Again, it is easier if you take off his hand to put on any type of clothing. So if I'm putting on the jacket, take off the hands, it's easier to put it on. When you're putting on the jacket, there's kind of like a little arm bar trick here. Pull his hand, pull his arm all the way back here, rotate it, and turn it to the side. And then you actually got the jacket right there on. Now remember, when you're moving on his arms with the jacket, I do recommend that you're really, really careful because it is a very, very sensitive fabric. It is a bit on the stretchy side, which helps you move him around. But I don't suggest you to move too rough on it because, well, you can't exactly take this to the dry cleaners and have them patch up a tiny little man jacket. I do kind of wish that they had one where he was just putting up the middle finger. I mean, that would totally be a Wolverine thing to do. I'm just saying. This is 18 and plus, so they can actually pull that through. You can actually zip up the jacket. It's an exact fit. I mean, you could tell he has, he's a bit boxy here, but this is from the outline is from the, the actual tank top. So you see that box right there? That's actually from the tank top. It's not from his chest. If, you, if I go right here, you can see the outline of his chest. But this is actually the tank top that's making that figure look, uh, that's making that box outline there. But yeah, you can actually zip it up. This is insane. Like, this is insane. This is a, this is one of my most treasured collectibles. Jose, you are the freaking man, dude. Let's open up the things that are in here in these blind bag looking things. I came across these Mesco figures a while ago with the Spider-Man ones and I've never had the, the opportunity to have one of my own. 
so this is my first Mezco of um that i own we, we've had them in the shop many times over but i've never actually had the luxury of having my own and uh for my first one to be wolverine truly awesome it's a tiny little mez i believe these are called mezits i just saw that they have um a couple of the the batman ones that they just released with their little mezits this is a little blank mezit Let's check out the other one. I wonder if the other one's a little tiny figurine also. <sighs> Let's open up this one right here. Little gold one. And... Oh! It's, it's another little tiny mini Mezit. And it's actually... The Mezco logo, which you see everywhere. That is the, in the their, their insignia right there. So this is a tiny figurine of their logo. And he comes with a tiny little... Boom box. I wonder if you can carry this little boom box. That's dope. That is cute. So we got a blank mezzet which has nothing on it, just a figurine. But cool little collectibles. Alright, so there you have it. That is the 112 Mezco Logan, the Wolverine figure. And I couldn't be more impressed with the amount of detail that went into the head sculpts, into the hands. Um, just down to even the dog tag. The dog tag is outstanding. I don't know how they got that teeny tiny little thing to be printed on there, but that is freaking awesome. Just the tiniest details on the figures. Head sculpt, um, down to the hair, to the fabric on the clothing. It's just fabulous. If you are a Wolverine, a Logan fan, this is a must have. I am ecstatic to have this in my collection. Jose, which is right now on the ship because he's in the Navy. Thank you for your service, my brother. Thank you for this amazing gift. This is truly, truly amazing. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. This is an amazing figure. I can't stop talking about it. I'm going to be like posing this thing in so many like cool, awesome Wolverine ways. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and turn on the notifications so we can get past these pesky new YouTube algorithms, which will grant you an entry to the Marvel Legends 1 to 1 scale Captain America shield. Until next, this is Fitner, over and out. Three, two, one,